Hello everyone. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to connect a WinTech HMI to an Arduino Opta PLC using Modbus TCP IP. To begin, we'll open the Arduino PLC IDE. Once open, I'll select New Project. Ensure that Opta 1.0 is listed as the target device and define the project location. Click OK when finished. Before we can program the Opta using an IEC 61131-3 programming language, we need to activate the PLC runtime. To do this, select the Resources tab and click on Opta within the project tree. Underneath the image of our Opta, you'll find a section labeled Other. We'll need to download to the Opta before we can activate the runtime. However, you'll need to know what serial port is utilized by the Opta. To find this information, we'll open the Device Manager. Expand the Ports section and using a USB-C cable, connect your PC to the Opta. While connected, two ports should appear. According to Arduino documentation, the lower port is the default port that you'll use to download to the Opta. The second port is a virtual port used for Modbus communication. Please take note of both ports. Then, select the default port within the Arduino PLC IDE and click on the Download button. If you don't see these ports appear within the drop-down list, select a new tab within the project tree. Then, reselect Opta to refresh the page. When finished, click on Set up communication within the online tab. With Modbus selected, click Properties, ensure that the virtual port used for Modbus is selected, and that the address is set to 247. This address and all other communication settings may change if you activate a different protocol. When finished, click OK. Within the Online tab, click Connect, and an upload pop-up will display, after which you may activate the PLC runtime. When prompted, reboot the Opta, Reconnect, and then click Refresh to view the activation status. Now, let's create a simple project that will allow us to turn on an LED using Modbus TCP IP. To begin, I'll select the Resources tab and click on LED Outputs. Within the variable column of LED1, I'll assign a new variable called xout. Next, I'll open the Sketch tab and configure the network settings. Finally, Select the Parameters tab to add a Modbus address. I'll name the variable assigned to this address, iCondition. Set the parameter type to signed 16-bit and the PLC type to bool. From what I've found, the PLC type determines how the variable will be interpreted within the project whereas the parameter type determines the data length and type is referenced by the client. As an example, the parameter type may be configured as an integer allowing numeric entry, but if the PLC type is bool, any number over zero is considered true. With that set, select the Project tab and open the Main Program. Although the default POU utilizes structured text, you can create additional POUs that can be written in other languages defined by the IEC 61131-3 standard by right-clicking on the project name and selecting Add. 
For now, let's configure a simple if statement to turn our LED on or off. One thing I will note is that Arduino's compiler requires a semicolon after condition-based statements and loops. So please make sure to place a semicolon after our if statement to prevent compilation errors. When finished, click the Connect to Target button to connect with the PLC if you are not already connected. Then. Select Download Code within the online menu and follow the prompts to download the project to your device. If you receive an error message, such as Cannot Download Sketch, please reboot the Opta, reconnect, and reattempt download. Now that the Opta is running, I'll open Easy Builder Pro and design a simple project that will allow the HMI to communicate with the Opta. Within this demonstration, I'll design a project for a CMTX series HMI, but feel free to use any model at your discretion. Within the system parameters, select New Device slash Server, and use the Device Type drop-down list to add a Modbus TCP IP device. I'll configure the station number to 255, as specified within the Arduino PLC IDE, and the IP address that we've set within the sketch as well. With that finished, I'll click OK and add a numeric object addressed to the address specified within the Parameters tab for testing. Before I download this to my HMI, let's perform an online simulation to verify communication. On occasion, you may encounter a device no response message. This occurs when the HMI fails to read an address or tag within an external device. I have noticed that this can occur when only one Modbus address is present within the Opta. and have found that adding an additional Modbus address and recalculating each address may resolve this issue. Just don't forget to download the updated program to the PLC when finished. Although there are a few quirks with Arduino's PLC IDE, let's keep in mind that this was only recently released. And they've also added a few features that are uncommon and in some cases unique, such as the programmable button and the ability to run sketches in parallel with the PLC program. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website or forum as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.